This B-17 often comes to Atlanta to give veterans a chance to see one of the 11 still capable of flight. It was restored by Don Brooks of Douglas, Georgia at a cost of $3 million. He did this in memory of his father, Elton, a tail gunner in the original Liberty Bell. I came along shortly after the end of World War II, and uh, when I was going to school, all the kids would say, you know, what did your father do during the war? And uh, mine was a gunner, tail gunner on a B-17, so uh, that's where my interest started. He told us of one mission where 12 bombers, each with a crew of 10, went out to bomb Dusseldorf, Germany. Only one badly shot up B-17 made it back. Uh, my father always said that one, one memory that he had that was probably the greatest uh, was, you know, when they came back from the one mission and, and they were the only plane that made it back from their squadron. So they went back to their squadron area that night and, uh, you know, there was, it was deserted, nobody there. And normally they were, you know, it was full of life, people out throwing baseballs or walking or riding bicycles or, you know, whatever. There were just a lot of people in the squadron area. You know, and they came home and it was deserted. Everybody was gone. The restored Liberty Bell was the star of the famous Flying Legends Air Show in Duxford, England last year. On the memory flight, she was accompanied by a P-51 and a British Spitfire. We'll introduce you to an 87-year-old veteran pilot who got to relive his dream and fly a B-17 again. 